or in one word, Atlantis, an ancient dream of a lost continent which techniques and culture are said to have reached mythical dimensions undiscovered up to date, but nevertheless, it is there, it exists. It is even shown on old maps, but it would be useless to ask traveling offices for any information about it. But it exists in thousands of years in the history of the world, and we know that these tenacious human dreams are always realized sooner or later. Troy was found, the Egyptian and Phoenician homes of culture were discovered, Atlantis will also be found. When I made the statement that Atlantis was not submerged in the ocean, but lost in the air it tracks of the southern Sahara, it would appear to be an actual fact. I mentioned to you the number of caravans, aeroplanes and persons who have disappeared in the Sahara without any trace whatever. I also told you that even today there are oases and villages in the desert which no Europeans have visited or at least never left again alive. What would happen if the site of the lost Atlantis were known to the natives? If it today serves them as a secret stronghold? If it is not lying at the bottom of the sea, but just under the sands of the Sahara, covered, devoured by sand, and the natives build their houses upon it? What's the matter? That man is right. Huh? Perfectly right. Atlantis is covered by the sands of the Sahara. Well, how do you know? Because I've been there. I have seen Atlantis. Seen it? You're rather exaggerating, aren't you? Two years ago, I saw Atlantis. Two years ago? Oh, the case with Morange. Oh, I'm sorry I mentioned the name. I've seen your report to the War Office. There was no mention of Atlantis in it. It only reported your movements, that you were attacked by Tuaregs, and that Captain Morange was killed. That's not true. Morange was not killed by the Tuaregs. I killed him. Yes. I murdered Morange, my best friend. Over two years ago, Captain Morange and myself were sent by the War Office to explore the possibilities of restoring the old Sahara Road, which runs from Tunis to the Niger. At least that was the official reason for our expedition. The real and secret reason was to acquaint ourselves with the political feelings of the Tuareg tribes. At the start, we joined up with a salt caravan on its way to Timbuktu.